Hey sinners, this is Centra. Um, time to give you guys an update. It's been, oh, I, I probably actually, hey sinners, but there'll be another video just before this. It said, hey sinners, but it's gonna be in the same video from when I planted the seeds almost 10 days ago. Now I made some key mistakes in planting my seeds. I used a heating mat to germinate them, but apparently you don't want to have the seedlings themselves after they've uh, germinated and you've got leaves and stuff on them to remain on that heating mat. Apparently that's a bad thing. And another thing I didn't realize is that peppers, peppers take 10 to 25 days to germinate. Like I just got one started right there. You can see them. While these guys started germinating in like one or two days. Uh, well, that's peppers, so that's a bad example. Oh, well, I moved all my tomatoes over here. So you can see these guys are, you even got some true leaves starting on some of these. This is, uh, this is marking where they are on the tray. So if you only see two X's, that means they're only in those two. Um, so Roma, Silver Fur, Green Zebra. Um, I just moved a sweet cherry here. I'm gonna move this one. The other two didn't germinate, so I'm going to move them here and here and mark these as sweet, um, which is, this is one I'm really excited about. The more I read about it, the more I'm excited about trying this one. Focus. There we go. Focus. Focus. There we go. Yeah, this one's uh, an indeterminate. This guy can get up to 12 feet tall, which is pretty terrifying, to be honest. That's a really big plant. Uh, can produce hundreds of tomatoes. And they'll make your mouth water because they're delicious, apparently. And so right here I've got the cilantro. One thing I didn't know about cilantro is they grow tap roots, kind of like a carrot has this one solid middle root. So they're not very good for starting inside. Um, I mainly just had some extra seeds that I thought weren't even going to be viable, but they, they grew. You got little tiny baby cilantro leaves. Why don't you focus on my ugly thumb so you can focus on the pretty leaf. There you go. And then I've got my milkweed for the... Uh, the monarch butterflies um apparently this stuff's really toxic you don't want to like break it and get it on your skin it's almost like poison ivy or can get in your eyes i really feel like i gotta sneeze but it's not where is it <sighs> okay it never showed up i've got some marigolds uh they're teeny tiny they're not getting very big i don't know what's going on there these marigolds are pretty happy. They're doing all right. These marigolds are got nice leaves on them. Yeah, so my problem was is I had my, my tomatoes came up so much faster than my uh, peppers. So I've moved them over here. I've got a few in their own trays. Like that's a silver fir. Then I forget this might be a tomatillo. And so I'm going to continue to move these over. And I'm going to try to get all the viable plants into these trays, which aren't going to be warmed, but they're going to be directly under the light. And then I'm going to go through and plant some more stuff. So let's show you some more of... These are all planted. That's what this side means. This is my nice thermal take uh, power supply box. Because that's what you should put. Uh, that's the best place to store seeds is in a power supply box. There, there's magic. It's, uh, it's scientific. I promise you. Here's some other peppers I'm gonna probably plant soon. There's some eggplant. Oh, I need to get this started. Watermelon, I won't obviously be starting yet. We're gonna try these Cherokee tomatoes. Sugar snap peas. These are like the the, uh, the sweet 100s. Apparently these are really good. I'm gonna try those. There's some other stuff in there. You guys have seen all this good stuff. La, 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 la. Um, so that was short but brief. I'm going to continue to do this. This takes a lot more like time than I thought it would. Oh, I don't know. I think it, it showed you in the other video. I don't know. I moved my grow system indoors because it was too cold outside. So it consists of, this is a heating pad. It's very warm. Um, and then I just transplanted these and it wasn't wet enough. So they limped over, but I, I watered it real well and it's, they're starting to pop back up. And then I'm gonna put another laundry basket right here, right under the light. Hopefully that will be sufficient. And then I was told I don't want to use the big guy here because if you don't give these guys enough air circulation, they will fung get funguses 
and bad things. I still might use this sometimes because it helps with the watering. Um, yeah, so there's that. And I'll see you guys later. Um, there'll probably be a bunch of lulls, probably for a few weeks. Uh, we're about to close on the house, hopefully. Everything's looking good to close on it this week. Then we'll start moving in next week. And then probably mid-February, I'm going to start building the raised beds. And you guys might not see another video till then. You'll see more videos on uh, YouTube.com slash SinPlay. I'm going to be doing... Gotta, I really got to get some of my gaming videos up. What are you doing? What, what are you, you know you're not supposed to be in the laundry room. You know you're not supposed to be in the laundry room. Laundry rooms aren't for cats. Nope. Okay. Well, all that said, um, if you guys want to chit-chat with me, you can do it on Twitter. I'll try to put all that stuff down in the description. Um, so thanks, guys, for hanging out. Uh, appreciate all you guys that are regular responders to the videos. Um, no, those comments aren't creepy to Minchie. Uh, I really do appreciate them, even if they're they're weird or they're, like, really, like, quizzical. Like, what a blah, blah, blah question. What is the name of your cat? My name is Ash. His mouth kind of hangs open funny. Well, her. Hello. Okay, this is Centrius signing off. Goodbye.